Speedstack is a professional PCB layer stack up design and documentation system. It's capable of making stacks on rigid, flex rigid and HDI PCBs. This is a brief presentation introducing the new features for Speedstack in 2019. In 2018, we added comprehensive insertion loss modeling capability along with the ability to document insertion loss in the stack up documentation. For the 2019 edition, we've now added comprehensive loss tangent information within the material library. You can add this to your documentation and draw loss tangent information directly from material supplier data sheets. Our customers find it very useful to use Excel for manipulating the data in the library. So we've provided tools to export and re-import the data, including the loss tangent data, and then you're free to make full library editing within Excel. A small but important tweak in the user interface is the widening of the column widths to make the description fields more easy to read. Previously, they were quite narrow, and each time you opened the library, you needed to expand the column width. We've now made these much wider for ease of use. Returning to the subject of loss tangent, we've got an ongoing project to add loss tangent, and we're working with all of our material supplier partners to bring loss tangent into the online libraries. Recognizing that some of our customers who've got limited internet access because of security reasons, the on-premise mode has been further improved for even easier ease of, ease of use when internet access is limited or unavailable. In the Stack Up Editor, Loss Tangent and Dielectric Constant are clearly visible from the main screen. And in the Insertion Loss tab, you can now extract the Dielectric Constant and Loss Tangent from the stack, or as you'll see on the next slide, by using these checkboxes, you can choose whether you set the dielectric constant from the stack up materials and the same with the loss tangent, or whether you set them manually. It's quite important if you've been using version 18 that you set these two checkboxes to off so you can use the manual uh, input data that you may have used when you used version 18 before moving across to use the stack up derived insertion loss and dielectric constant values. With fine geometry traces, modeling of the surface roughness gets ever more important. You can contrast the results for the loss with smooth copper, or you can use three different methods for modeling Hammerstad, Groys, and Hure. And with Hure, which requires quite complex uh, data entry from scanning electron microscopes, you can simplify that data entry by using the cannonball Hure model, which converts a mat and drum side roughness number into the start parameters for Hure modeling. An important enhancement in 2019 is that in addition to causally modeling the dielectric losses, we now causally model the roughness insertion loss with the field solver. For those of you that like to leave the actual layup and material choice to the fabricator and just set nominal parameters, You've been remembered too because we've added the ability to put loss tangent in the virtual material mode so when you're making a what if virtual material mode stack from virtual materials it's quite straightforward in the stack up wizard in virtual material mode to add the, the loss tangent for both the base material and the solder mask here's a completed virtual material mode stack and you can see alongside the stack up itself the nominal loss tangent and dielectric constant numbers for both the base material and the solder mask. Speedstack is a comprehensive container for all of your geometrical data and material data in your stack up. If you need to do more detailed analysis, it's sometimes easier to work in SI9000. And for that reason, we give you comprehensive ability to cut and paste all of the stack up information and put all of that geometrical and material data information into SI9000, where you can make extensive analysis and what if scenarios to see what would happen if you change any key parameters. So the copy and paste from Speedstack into SI9000D have been improved and updated to include all of the relevant loss parameters. New fabrication techniques 
mean that there are always new materials being introduced into the stack up. And in 2019 SpeedStack, we've added a number of new materials for via and drill fill types. So there's now a non-conductive fill, conductive fill, sintering paste and copper paste added to the existing copper, resin and solder mask types. Here you can see the four types, non-conductive, conductive, sintering paste and copper paste as they'd appear in the stack up. And on this slide, you can see how those materials would appear in the printout in the SpeedStack report. To wrap up this brief introduction to SpeedStack 2019, we've now improved the import export options and updated them to support all the new fields in, in, introduced with this version. We've modified the impedance and insertion loss cal calculations to support causal surface roughness calculation. And for designers of rigid flex, we've made the handling of air gaps in doublet and bookbinder stacks easier to use. Thank you for watching this brief presentation on what's new in SpeedStack 2019. If you'd like more information on SpeedStack or you'd like to update your existing copy, please contact your local Polar office and the details can be found on the following slide.